Um, guys, welcome, guys. So in this video, uh, we are just uh, talking about this small topic called the determinants of the anti-symmetric matrix. Matrix. Okay, and basically, uh, we are just focusing on real numbers. Okay, so that means we we have a n by n uh, matrix with the element in the reals. Okay, so the first fact that uh, people uh, every want to talk about is if n is odd, then determinant of let's say this is a is zero. And the second that is n is even, then uh, usually people seldom talk about but determinant a will must be greater or equal to zero. Okay, so before we start, uh, we take some uh, trivial examples to see. So let's say n equals to one, that uh, right, the only matrix is zero, right? Because the anti-symmetry makes a is negative a transpose, which tell you that the diagonal must be zero. Okay, and now for n equals to two, so it's zero, zero, right? Let's say this is a, this is negative a. So the determinant of it will be 0 square plus a square so greater or equal to 0 because we are assuming that a is real right how about n equals to 3 so it's very easy that I don't want to write this is a b c minus a minus b minus c right and easy to compute this is 0 right we get uh, something and uh, this is minus a so we get b c plus b AC, so which is zero. So finally, let's uh, work out some trivial example that uh, n equals to four. Okay, so this is zero, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, minus A, minus D, minus C. Oh, sorry, this is minus B, right, minus B, minus C, minus E, minus F. Okay, so let's quickly work out. That's our final example. So this is A, right? We start from here. So we get uh, A, B, C, minus D, 0, F, minus E, 0, oh, sorry, minus F, minus F, 0, minus B, A, B, C, 0, D, E, minus E, minus F, 0 plus e a b c 0 d e minus d 0 f okay so let's quickly uh, compute so this is a and the one can just directly this minus b f plus c d f plus a f squared minus b minus b e squared plus c d e plus a e f plus e e sorry this is c uh, sorry i'm stupid this is C. And uh, ADF minus BDE plus CD squared. Okay, so combine all of it, then uh, we get uh, A squared F squared plus 2AC DF plus C squared D squared plus B squared E squared minus 2ABEF minus 2ABCDE. Okay, so combine all of it, this is AF plus CD minus b squared so which is greater or equal to zero okay so uh let's go back to our original theorem right so we check that n is even that n equals to 2 e4 and uh determines whether it equals to zero and it's odd is zero okay so now uh, we give a proof so we mainly go to our main project so proof so that's n is even, right? n is odd, right? So this is trivial, everyone knows about, right? So since a is a determined minus the at, right? So we take a determinant, so determine a equals minus uh, determinant minus a to the t, right? And the way is this, right? This, this is minus n determinant at, right? And the determinant transpose is the same as determinant, right? So since n is odd, so minus one to n will be minus one, right? So determinant a equals to minus determinant of a. Okay, so this is trivial, okay? And the next one that uh, people will seldom talk about is if n is even. 
determinant of a is larger or equal to zero. Okay, so this one is uh, usually hard to prove because somehow like you need to use uh, much more math. Okay, not just the simple uh, formula. Okay, so that's so the proof is basically let's consider I a as b, right? So b transpose will be minus a transpose, right? So basically it's I a, right? So which tell you that b is a metric, right? So all the eigenvalue of b is real right so let's say this is this uh, all eigenvalue are called alpha i okay suppose that we so we have n of them right, i from one to n. right so that means originally a has eigenvalue a has eigenvalue i just divided this i right it has minus i a alpha i i from one to n right but a uh, uh a has uh, a has all right a has all real component a uh, real element right so all the roots so if you take about a characteristic polynomial then all the roots should have its own conjugate so have its own conjugate Okay, so what it means is that if a plus a plus b i is a root, then a minus b i must be must be also a root. Right, so if you start from here, then the, that means what? It means each each right each so a has all real element, right? So all its root should has its own conjugate. So that means if you start from here, right, then all its roots has its own conjugate. So that means if minus i alpha i exist, right? So then, uh, then its conjugate exist, right? So its conjugate exist, exist. Right? And then you have out of uh, you have you have n divided by two of them, right? And the, but but this one and this one are conjugate. So it's a plus b i form is form a plus b i a minus b i. So you can view this as a plus b squared. And uh, for let's let's say uh, this is a plus b i okay. The bed uh, my notation are bad right, but I uh, from uh, so all 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 positive numbers. So which are greater or equal to zero? Okay, so uh, let's uh, prove. So yeah, basically that's it. So key idea is that uh, if you know the i alpha, you know the i as or the real eigenvalue, then the then it's poor, right? This poor conjugate, right? Well, well, uh, uh, well, the uh, poor is conjugate will uh, start, will, will happen, right? As it's, oh, okay. So then we have this. Okay, so, hmm, hmm, hmm. right? By uh, by the way, this alpha i is uh, real, right? So if this conjugate happen, it is minus i alpha exists, then i alpha i must exist. Right, so that means if product you get alpha i, right? Alpha i is a real number, so you get alpha i squared. So actually we can just change it to alpha i squared. Okay, and I will see you guys in the uh, next videos. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.